Here are five color hacks that you can implement in Illustrator when you are designing. So let's say that you want to recolor this letter, but the strokes are made out of fill. So basically it is a destructive shape. It doesn't contain any stroke and you cannot apply fill, which is basically going to recolor the shape. So there's another way you can do that. All you need to do is select it, press the letter K, or you can go and select this interesting tool, the live paint bucket. If you don't have it, you can go to the three dots and go to the paint section and select this live paint bucket. And from here, we're going to go to the fill, change up the color and let's go on the image, click on it and check this out. It is going to fill in the empty areas, change up the color, for example, yellow, repeat the same process. It is going to recolor it. All right. So next, let's say that you got a shape made out of stroke and fill and you want to swap it from stroke to fill. And usually you need to go to this little arrow and click on it and it's going to swap it from fill to stroke or stroke to fill. Now, in order to do that fast, you can press the shift plus X and it's going to swap from fill to stroke fast. Next, let's say that you want to recolor this green shape with this yellow color. And if you select the eyedropper tool and just click on the fill, it is going to copy paste all the properties from this flower, including color of the stroke, thickness of the stroke, the stroke and the color of the fill as well. So in order to avoid this, make sure that the fill is on the top, press and hold shift and click on the fill here. And this way it is going to copy paste only the fill color. But check this out, you also can go to the stroke and when you're on the stroke with the eyedropper tool, you click on it and it's going to copy paste the stroke color. Now you also can do the same thing with the stroke. So let's say I want to apply a stroke on this shape. I'm going to click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. And right now I'm going to make it black. I'm going to increase the stroke thickness and I'm going to make it thicker. So the stroke is on the top. I'm going to select the eyedropper tool, press and hold shift. And I'm going to copy paste this green. So this way the stroke got recolored or I can go and copy paste this stroke color without the properties. I'm going to click on the stroke and it copy paste the stroke color without the stroke thickness. And if I want to change up the fill color, I'm going to click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top, press and hold shift. I'm going to select this green and there you go. All right. So next, if you want to change up all the colors, for example, on one of your composition, in this example, I got this pattern going on with a lot of shapes and colors. All you need to do is go to the properties panel. And here we got this recolor button, click on it. And here we got this recolor tool, which looks really cool. And all you need to do is just bring these circles and change them in some other positions. And it's going to change up the colors. You also can modify from this handle and this way it is going to move the circle into another position. And there's also this handle. If you move it, you can increase or decrease the hue saturation of the colors. And let's say if you want to recolor one specific color on the whole composition, for example, I'm going to select one of these shapes, which is green, and I'm going to go to the select same and fill color. And basically this is going to select all the shapes with the specific green color. And now you can go to the swatches or whatever you want and just recolor them. And pretty much these are the five color tips that you can use in your designs here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.